Hey, what's up, people? What's up, people? How you guys doing today? Well, guys, now come out the garden. Now plant some fruit trees. Now plant some peppers. Now plant some okros. I was in the garden for almost all day today. And I've learned so much in the garden. This is the thing about gardening. I've learned so much, so much for be for doing garden for so long, and still able to learn new things almost every day. It's amazing. It show you the the level the depths of this thing where you can actually learn something every day well that's for me i know for everybody but i just want to say something guys hey, for the people who follow me shout out to everyone shout out to all my followers all my subscribers all my members shout out to each and everyone but for the people who follow me and know me and have a more understanding of how I grow food, they have a more, they will have an understanding that how passionate I am when come and gardening, how passionate I am when come on my soil. I'm very passionate when come on my soil. I'm very passionate on what I put around my plan because at the end of the day I, got, I have to eat it so if I got to eat it it's got to be good I can't be complaining how other people growing their food and doing the same thing that don't make sense to me so I try to grow food organic only organic I do not use chemical if you watch my video you're gonna see ways of how i make my compost my compost tea all these kind of thing i do natural and what i have realized over the years i have realized that people add a lot of stuff to their food their plant to get them develop fast to get them able to produce faster go faster and I believe from my own experiment my own experiment I've realized the more you allow a plant to grow for itself and develop for itself I believe you're gonna get more nutrition out of this plant the reason why you're gonna get more nutrition out of this plant because this plant take the right amount of time the right amount of days to develop and by take the right amount of time it develop everything and give it back to the fruits so this is why you could get more nutrition out of this plant. When you're doing gardening on the big scale, when you got to feed millions of people, it's just different. It's just different. You know, it's just different. It's, it's, that's on another level. So to maintain millions of people, yes, people do what they got to do. But when you're doing your thing in your backyard for yourself, you should be more, take more pride in what you're doing. You should observe more. You should try to learn more. Because at the end of the day, is your health, is your body. And the way you treat your body, your body gonna respond to the treatment you give in your body. We could, you understand, you could be eating vegetables all day. But if the vegetables have no nutrition inside of it, it become like you just eating paper. So 
I believe in allowing your food to grow on its own. Your job is to make sure that you take care of these plants from babies. Get them into the growing process. Once they start growing, it's become easier for you. Put more time and effort in your garden. There's no shortcut. There's no easy way out. So run in to the store to get something to boost up your plant and make they look big. But at the end of the day, the fruits have no nutrition. It didn't make sense. So to me, if you trying to grow your own food and you ain't want to look into growing them natural and healthy, that's your fault problem. I cannot tell you what to do. But for me, if I'm growing food, I want them to be healthy. I want the food I eat to nourish my body. I want the nutrition. I want the vitamins. I want the, everything the plant have to offer. Why would I feed my plant with something we're going to defeat the purpose of giving me what, I, what my body needs? It's kind of mixed up because what happens is you feed your plant with these things and then your plants cannot give you the nutrition you need. Then guess what you do? You go and buy things to give you nutrition, to give you energy, booster energy. When you could grow, your, grow them and get that booster from them plant. When you talk about beet, beet is a very good plant very good with lots of nutrition but the problem is when people grow them they grow them with so much chemical and other things that what the beet supposed to give to your body it's really not giving it because it, you don't have it so be mindful of how you grow in your food be you got to have discipline you got to have patience Grow your food that your food could give you what your body need. Energy. You need energy. You need vitamin C. You need all these kind of things. Let your food that you grow provide that for you. Instead of you got to go and buy something to give you booster energy. When you grow in your own food and you messing up your food, by adding things to it, and then you got some more chemical again. So you see, blame yourself. You cannot blame nobody. You cannot blame anyone. You got to blame yourself. If you grow in your own food, you blame yourself. You should know better. You should learn how to grow food without all these things. Your food should be your pharmacy the next thing we grow herbs and while we're growing herbs we add in all different kind of chemical around the herbs it defeating the purpose then now the 